Hey everybody, Gary Basecamp Trading. Let's take a look at crude oil futures today. Crude oil is in an uptrend. As you can see, we're making a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, and on up we go. We, we're coming out of the London session, and actually the London session was slightly bullish, but just kind of sideways mostly. And then we came into the U.S. session when the U.S. pit opened. We had this bull flag set up. So we had a nice push higher. Bottoming tail, entire body of this bar was all buying. Closed right near the top above resistance. Pulled back, set up the bull flag. And then at the crude pit open, little bottoming tail. And then the entire body of this bar was all buying, triggering in our bull flag. Followed by another really bullish bar closing above resistance. We know that the 50 and the 200 are a significant support and resistance zones. Pushed higher. Actually made a little pullback. Tested it. Pushed on higher. Had the continuation doji. And crude is still in an uptrend. It's getting very extended now. But um, nice strong move to the upside in crude oil. This is what that looked like on our Renko chart. And as you know, we trade to uh, targets all the time. Crude's in an uptrend, making higher highs, higher lows. We get this wick out of the cloud. Our first target is 68.94. Our entry is on the wick out of the cloud at... Uh, 68.36, give or take. And so we were able to grab uh, $300, potentially $300 per contract, because we actually traded up past our target a little bit. Um, so you had the potential to grab uh, at least $300 per contract. Made the pullback, had our wick off the 18. Uh, five bar rule might have stopped you out on that one. No big deal. That would have been a four tick loss, which happens. We we don't worry about that. You know, not a big deal. That would have been a four or five tick loss. Another wick off the 18 on up into our second target, which is 69.16. That triggered us in at uh, 69.03. So and chance to grab another couple hundred dollars per contract because we pushed up through our target. And then. Uh, that started getting us late in the morning. The crude inventory report was today. Typically don't trade crude that last hour in front of the report. Now crude actually made a pretty big move going into the report. And then uh, broke out after the report. Um, right in here is where the uh, report was released. And we had an initial move down. And then crude started climbing and has been climbing all afternoon, starting to get very extended. Um, we have a bag number up here at 70.52. Don't know if we're going to get there. The main reason being is this is our 240-minute chart. You can see that we are extended two bars in a row, significantly overvalued, two bars in a row. And we're right up into our major moving averages. We know the 50 and the 200 um, EMAs are significant support and resistance. This 50 is um, at 70.27. Now, if it pushes through there and runs up to the 200, we'd hit our bag number. Our bag number is 70.52. But um, we know that this is significant resistance right here and that could be it for the upside in crude today again we're very extended significantly overvalued on the 240 minute chart two bars in a row right into major resistance so like i said that may be the upside for crude today but that's okay um some nice trading opportunities uh on trading to targets today